we haven't heard much about the use of ivermectin for COVID-19 of recent. However, there is a new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association that looks at the use of ivermectin compared to placebo in outpatient use. Let's talk about it. So in this recent study, 1,591 people with acute COVID-19 were enrolled in a study that included 93 different centers throughout the United States, and it was collected between June of 2021 and February of 2022. To be enrolled into the study, people had to have a documented COVID test and have at least two symptoms associated with COVID and not be sick for more than one week. The lead researchers were from Duke University, and there were also researchers from the University of Miami, Vanderbilt University, Cornell University, and others. Now, in this study, patients received a three-day course of ivermectin or placebo. The ivermectin was a 400 micrograms per kilogram once a day. So what did the study find? Now, the average time to recovery was 12 days with the ivermectin group, and it was 11 days with the placebo group. 10 patients who were hospitalized or died were were those who took ivermectin. Nine were in the placebo group. Also, five people in the ivermectin group developed COVID-19-related pneumonia, and seven did in the placebo group. Overall, whether it's recovery severe illness or death, or any complications, they were comparable between the ivermectin group and the placebo group. There was no statistical difference amongst them. Now, these findings are actually similar to a study that was done internationally back and published in May of 2022 in the New England Journal of Medicine. Now, in that study that was led by researchers from Canada and Brazil, there were 3,515 subjects from 12 different clinics in Brazil. Now, they also gave the same 400 micrograms per kilogram once a day of the ivermectin or a placebo, just like the other study. Now, patients for that had to have had COVID symptoms for no more than a week. But in this one, they also chose people who were at high risk for further development of more complications from COVID. Um, Now, similarly to that other study, however, they, uh, they did not find any differences whatsoever. They were looking specifically at moving on to either hospitalization or emergency room visits. And this was for up to four weeks after they started the treatment. Now, both for hospitalization as well as for emergency room visits, there was no difference whatsoever. Now, I know that there will be people who criticize these studies because they did not do the same protocol that's presented by the Frontline COVID-19 Critical Care Alliance, or Eye Care Early COVID Treatment Protocol. And in that, they call for at least five days, but up until when symptoms clear, and calls for 400 to 600 micrograms um, per kilogram per day of the ivermectin. Now, all of the studies that I mentioned before went for three days. So is it possible that if if a person had used the ivermectin for two days more, that it could have brought a different outcome? Obviously, I can't say. I can only report on what the data is that we have that we're talking about. Now, this past summer, I caught COVID for the first time. When I first started, it was some very mild symptoms. I did a couple of tests over a few days, didn't have a positive test. Then about night number four, that's when I spiked the high fever, started getting um, chills, fevers, aches, headache, and that's when I tested positive for COVID-19. Now, when my fever spiked, I had already been off the vitamin A of our immune protocol, which is what I started right away. And I know we've talked about that before. Um, We have it on our Patreon account. We've we've put it forth on our uh, on previous videos. But since I had been off of it for two days already, I knew it was safe to do another round of two days of the high dose vitamin A. And at that point, I actually had considered maybe I should start taking ivermectin um, because I was confident that it was safe when using the pharmaceutical approved dose by the FDA for use for other medical conditions. Now, ultimately, I decided to wait a day kind of to see how I would do. The next day, I felt remarkably better. And I continued to get better every day after that. Now, I know, of course, it makes sense. If I would have started ivermectin, I would have said, oh, my gosh, that's what made myself turn around. Isn't this stuff wonderful? But I improved without it. 
So what is my take? Now, while most physicians and politicians, or not say most, many physicians and politicians, immediately made ivermectin out to be a horrible, dishonorable thing to even mention or take, I was hoping that there that this would have been a safe treatment that would have been effective that we could have used on our patients. And I would hope that it would impact it and minimize the infections of COVID-19. Now, while research could be done to see if the higher dose of 600 micrograms per kilogram or five days would have been done could have been more, um, more effective, these studies did not demonstrate that the ivermectin worked at three days for 400 micrograms per kilogram compared to a placebo. So anyways, that was my thought process through the entire thing. Maybe you learned a thing or two. So again, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please join us. Please share this with others. Join us on our Patreon account. Check out our our uh, our audio our podcasts only as well. Thanks and have a great day.